security was tight at the Monarch Gala, you took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were going to kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder. You were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? That's all we needed. Well, I was starting to think seeing a pretty lady like you was too much to hope for. Why don't you keep your mouth shut while we get some privacy before we begin? Okay. How about you get me out of this chair? Ah, ah, ah. Stop squirming. And you're gonna need this. What's it look like out there? I think you're secure. Everyone's concentrating on the party. So far, your crazy plan's working. And Dr. Emeril? I don't have a fix on her. She's either at the party or at her office at the R&D facility here on the island. I'll scout out the party. So you're gonna sip champagne while I break into a high security installation? It's like you got this all figured out. I'll save you a cocktail, Weenie. Oh, well, in that case... My cover isn't gonna survive the night, but it'll last a little longer, so you can't walk out the front door with me. This is the quickest way to the R&D facility. I disabled the security at the back door, but there'll be guards. Contact me when you're clear. And Jack, you know what's at stake here. This can't be about revenge. I'm not here for Paul. Hey! He's escaping! Powers were growing. I was learning to control them better. That felt good. Who the hell designs these doors? Okay, okay. I'm gonna have to move faster to get. Very sci fi and very monarch. Something tells me it wasn't commissioned by them, though. Hey, Beth, I'm clear. What's next? I see a radar tower Warn me about that one, Beth. Okay, how am I getting to that radar tower? I need to get across somehow.
must be a way across. Uh, up you go. swept under the carpet but now we've got a shitload more bodies to disappear well at least we got it under control now there he is it's George from the dry docks everybody move Time felt broken here. The whole cannon felt unstuck in time. The timeline of the old cannon felt loose. I could shift it around. Smart, Smart place to aim the cannon, cannon guys. guys. I've been thinking. Monarch projections say these stutters are getting more frequent. If one hits while we're grabbing Dr. Amaral... You'll be frozen. Yeah, I know. It's a risk. Monarch specialist troopers have the stutterproof gear. I bet Dr. Amaral would have that in her office, too. I'll keep an eye out. See if I can grab it for you.
unlock the gates leading to the tower. Great. Another one. Let me know when you get there. Thanks, Beth. Beth? I'm at the radar tower. Where's the lab? Blow your feet. It's all top secret. The elevator inside will take you down. Oh, seriously? What is this, a Bond villain lair? You have no idea. Just don't fall into the shark tank. Good evening. You weren't expecting somebody this handsome, I know. Unfortunately, Mr. Serene is preoccupied with the many duties necessary Let's give to ensure we maintain control deserve. over our path forward. And that's what tonight is about. The future. We all knew this day was coming the minute you out there are cured. Hey, Beth. I'm headed down into the labs. Okay. A bit of confusion here at the party. Serene's right-hand man's on stage. It was supposed to be Serene. Yeah. I think Paul was too busy trying to have a heart-to-heart -heart with me to make it.
The device drained my powers. We refer to it as a chronon dampener. When Paul visited me in that cell, he said time was a closed loop. Believed the fracture couldn't be fixed. Seeing the scale of that facility made me wonder. Time was ending? What was it all for? Oh god. The chart showed that all of Monarch's major technological advancements started in 2010. Around the same time that something else happened. Ground Zero.
me. That was hardcore. Which way is Amaro's office? Guessing this isn't the usual employee route. Dr. Amaral's office must be close. Nobody here knows about the mess I made on the way in. <sighs> nice job, Beth. That's Amaral's office. The Amaral had tried to warn Paul. The end of time was approaching quickly. Less than 24 hours away. Mr. Serene believed it would take years to run its course. Admittedly, he was wrong. Looks like what Beth wanted. Oh shit. Emerald's at the party. The stutter won't last. I better find a way out of here and get to the party. Quite expensive piece of tech you stole. Bill me. I knew Beth's cover wouldn't last long. Had to get it to her at the party before it was too late. to do was make it through the garage. Seems simple enough.
not gonna make my life any easier. There's gotta be a way out of here. Oh, shit. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Beth, I got that device for you, but Dr. Amaral's at the party. Yeah, I just spotted her. Wanna be my date? Yeah, save me that cocktail weenie. I'll make my way there. They say Hatch getting shot at was an insider job. I create a window for us, but Serena's looking for you. Remember what we said. I'll keep him occupied, but switch to the Monarch frequency to make sure you stay out of his crosshairs. Okay. I'll see you at the party. Time to move.
God. That's the last of them. And you're back for some quality time with Bobby Rath. Exact coordinates for Joyce ASAP. Monarch Actual is moving in to intercept. This is Home Guard 5. Just spot them entering the tunnel. System out inside the party grounds. Beth? I'm on my way. Huh. Again. I could see the mansion where the gala was. I had to find a way to get there. I could see the energy field of another Monarch Chrono damper. It would drain my powers. I'd have to find a way to shut it off. Huh. Again? I could see the mansion where the gala was. I had to find a way to get there. I could see the energy field of another monarch chrono. It would drain my powers. I'd have to find a way to shut them off. My powers won't work within that sphere. I better be careful. Security's tight. Maybe you want to shut that machine off. will work within that sphere. You better be careful. Security's tight. Maybe you want to shut that machine off. The joyce freaks on the loose? Somebody tried to kill Hatch? They gotta lock this down before it gets worse. That'll make things easier. No doubt. That's way above
You were headed for the party. What was your plan? I needed to get to Dr. Amaral before the stutter ended and Monarch found out I was coming. Should be here somewhere. Need to get to her before the stutter ends. A traitor fired shots during Mr. Hatch's speech. I assume this was Beth Wilder. We both know it wasn't. Hatch wanted to send Monarch into a state of disarray. The best way to avoid blame? Look like the target. inside the mansion. Let's go grab her. Bit of luck, we can be gone before anybody notices. Okay, lead the way. What's our plan once we grab her? There's a boat dock right outside the mansion. Okay, we can make that work. time kicks back in and that drone turns us into paste. Let's get to it, Doctor. Thank you. 
Jack, they're closing the gate. We'll be sitting up here if she can open for us. I'll take care of it. You get going as quick as you can. I'm okay? empty. Fire support. gate. What about you? You're clear. Go. I can swing by go. and... No. Just go. We went to all this trouble to grab her. Beth, I'm counting on you to keep her alive. I'll make my own way out. My plan was simple. There's a bridge to the mainland. Fight my way through anything Monarch would throw at me and then steal a car. Drive it back to the swimming pool. Just remember, we need your ass alive for the next part. See how it shakes out.
With Beth and Dr. Ammer all clear, it was time for me to get gone. For that, I need wheels. Valley parking. This thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. Martin, how is it possible he managed to take her? Paul, this is your illness talking. I'm on your side. Ugh. Ugh. Easy, you're... They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Emerald doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. All right, Amaral. Let's go fix the time machine. I said I'll try. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. Then she took them away. If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. You're right. We need to stick to the original plan. Whether Sophia's date is good or not, we can't deviate from that. Clearly, we have been compromised. Put a team together. Find out who she's been working with. Actually, I've already got something on that front. They just pulled this from the security feed.
my god, it's her. Who? Her, Martin. She's one of our employees. How the hell? We got too big for you to screen everybody personally. We didn't have an idea on her until now. Beth Wilder. She's one of our operatives. We've already got a kill team after, but... We won't be able to kill her. Not yet. How can she be working with Jack? How does she even know him? I told you, Paul, we can't trust our own people. Who knows how deep this goes? Find out. Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. When it all started. She'd been here the whole time, working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. They're losing their effectiveness. There's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. And no matter what I do, time ends. I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? This is Dr. Amaral's report. The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What is that? Current undisrupted life form. Extremely hostile. It's Dr. Kim. Let's go! Let's go! No, 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 no. Put one of those on! Yeah. And what did Burke want with it? Well, I don't know. I don't even know what the lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter a list of monarchs' essential personnel to weather the storm until they can develop a solution. Essential personnel. So that means that I'd be on that list, right? Not under Paul Serene's lead, you wouldn't. He's failed to see the value in his own people, too consumed with grand ideals and delusions. You know what I find to be the most terrifying notion of this planet? The idea of God. Simply the idea. A being with that much power. The ability to take and give so freely. 
that kind of control. But you'd be feared, not worshipped. Yet, people believe in it. Just as people believe in Paul Sewin. You see, what's so scary about God isn't his control, but rather, if he ever lost it, Paul Sewin's become unhinged, Charlie. He's triggered a catastrophe. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. The end of time. And this is where we come in. We risk too much leaving the keys to the kingdom in one man's hands. We need insurance. There's something called the CFR. It's a crucial key to our survival and must remain safe. But as long as Paul is the only one with access to it, it isn't. With access to the CFR, I would take over, get Monarch back on track, and once I do, restructuring would be in order, Charlie. Restructuring that would see you as my right hand. I'd be on the list. Absolutely. Then I need to go back to Monarch. And that sort of privilege isolation it can only be done from the inside. That's good. I put the island on lockdown. But the pump house on the west side has an old supply tunnel that runs beneath the bay. No one knows about it. You'll go unseen. Time is of the essence, Charlie. You better get to it. Yeah. Commander Davis. Yes, sir. Head to the perimeter lab. We're moving forward. The frequency of the stutters is still unpredictable, but they're persistent. Erratic, but persistent. I need certainty. If I initiate the protocol, there's no going back. Mr. Serene, something like this. There is no certainty. We've never dealt with it before. How long? We've been running Dr. Amaral's simulations. It's hard to say without her to confirm, but... Just give me a time. Joyceville could collapse within eight hours. Mr. Serene, if you're going to proceed, now would be the time to decide. Charlie. Fiona. Hey, bud. Where you going? You're right. Time's ending, just like you said. And the lifeboat protocol, it's a place. They built it to protect people from the fracture. And the only problem is, is, is there's a list, and anyone who's not on it is, is pretty much fucked. But if we make it back to the mainland, then I, I can get us on the list. All of this entire island is on lockdown. How are we going to do that, Charlie? There's a tunnel. Hey, all right, if you are lying to me this time, I swear to God. No, get off! I'm tired of shit. I don't know why you're doing this. But I don't have to put your name on shit, motherfucker. What'd you do to him? He's fine. I'm gonna tell you why you're gonna put me on that list. I got a pregnant wife at home, and she's the only thing that I am thinking about right now. So if you get in the way of me protecting her, I swear to fucking God, 
Next time, you will not catch your breath. Lead the way. Five minutes out, Mr. Hanage. Yes. I've come to free you, my friend. Imprisonment. It's unsettling. It's time for you to rejoin the others. To return to the infinite.
You do okay? Yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm good. We need to get... Get on the fucking ground! Hey, ground! No, 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 we're with Monarch! What don't you hey, understand? No, get on the ground! Hey, no, no, no. Hey, I'm the one that called it in. I'm Hatch's guy. One guy? Yeah. Where's she? She's... Cronon scientist. She's important. We have to get her back to Monarch right away. Please. Get the fuck out of here. Now! Yeah. Gibson, I got Burr. Fiona! 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 You gotta listen! Hey! Ah. Oh, shit! You killed him! Fuck! Hey! I didn't know that they were gonna kill him. What was I supposed to do? Huh? You let me on and then you kidnapped this isn't me. It's about you, Charlie! Are you stealing this car? Just get the fuck out of here. No, you're gonna need me. I got what I needed out of you. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Why don't you open your eyes? The world is about to end. I'm trying to do something. Yeah, you're a real hero. Fuck you. A nurse, huh? I'll see you there. Burke. You fuck. You know, I'm really gonna enjoy killing your wife. Commander Davis? Davis and his team. They were all good men. Monarch's finest. Oh. Oh. What about my treatments? I'm afraid so. You know what this means. You don't know for sure. I'm a mean, dead man! Jack. He wants me to become him. He wants me to suffer. Until the end. Joyce and Wilder. But what was troubling me is who got them in the Kim's lab. She paid a visit while she was thought to be missing. She knew where your treatments were kept. She knew the complexities of your illness. And she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. She created them. And then she took them away. I need her found now. And what would you like done with her? I'll decide that when she's brought to me.
and bring it to you now. Good evening. If you weren't expecting somebody this handsome, I... Unfortunately, Mr. Serene is... Oh, God. Liam? Hey, pal. I'm glad you could make it. I was just telling your girl here how concerned about you we've been. Emily, we need to go. Go? What's the rush? Emily, give me the keys. Give me the keys. Get away from me. Get away. Emily, listen. No. Listen. Please. 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 No. This is not who I am. This is not. I'm telling you, I never felt good doing this. I, I never, I never felt good doing this. But it's the only thing I knew how to do. And when I got back, I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything to do. And Monarch, they found that useful. And they put me to work. I swear to God, I couldn't, I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand being alone. It's, so every Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I would, I would walk down the street because it was the only two nights at the bartender. And she wasn't at school. And I told myself every night to ask you what. It took me a fucking year. And like, if Mama, if they gave me structure, you gave me purpose. I did this to protect you. I did this to protect us. Our family. I did this to protect our family. But I'm waiting you have to listen to me. Something terrible is coming. And I will explain to you on the way, but we have to move. We have to move right now. If you will just let me, if you will just let me protect you. On my side. Please. Please. This is me. It's me. It is me. Okay. We have to go. We have to go right now. It's Pierce. I'm at the perimeter lab. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. I want him apprehended. Immediately. 